Hi everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. I just wanted to come in today to discuss uh, the mother who was arrested after whipping her sons for burglarizing a neighbor's home. So let's just get to it. This mother is 31 years old. She lives in Louisiana and she's the mother of six. Three of her sons were involved in this. Her 13 year old, her 12 year old, and then her 10 year old. And the story is that she was at work and she received a call from one of her neighbors. The neighbor advised her that her three sons, along with some other neighborhood kids, had just broken into a home and they were taking the stolen goods into her home. So what this mother did is she left work, rushed home, and was able to catch the children in her home. She said when she came through the door and they realized it was her, kids started scattering everywhere. She said that they were jumping out of windows and running out the back door. So she said what she did is she grabbed the belt and she took off after them. Now she wasn't able to catch the other kids, but she was able to catch her own three. She brought them back to the house and she whipped them for what they did. The mother says that the reason why she did it is because their dad is incarcerated and she wanted to teach them that you cannot go and steal from anyone. And she said that that's how she was raised. She also spoke about that she wasn't trying to hurt her children. She was just trying to teach them a lesson. Now, I have mixed feelings about this. First off, I don't think she should have been arrested. Now, they said that what happened is her 13-year-old was charged with the crime. And when he was there, they saw bruising on his body and some of the bruises were bleeding. So they asked him, where did he get the bruises from? And he explained that he had gotten a spanking for breaking into the house. So that's why, first of all, I don't think she should have been charged. Because here's the thing. In that mother's eyes, she was doing what was best for her children. She told them, the authorities, that she was trying to teach, just teach them that you don't steal from people. Now, maybe the mother may have gone a little bit too far. Maybe, you know, leaving them with bruises on their body. But I was spanked as a child myself. And my brothers were. And most of the people that I knew growing up were spanked as well. The problem I have with this is that the police can beat children tase them to death, you know, put them in a chokehold and choke them to death, shoot them and kill them. But here's a mother trying to discipline her children to keep them out of the, you know, the sight of the police. Do we think maybe she went too far? I, you know, it's a matter of opinion. Because her ultimate goal was to teach them a lesson. Now, maybe she did go too far. You know, when she left the bruises on them, I don't fault her for spanking them. Because I think the intent in her heart, especially when she said that she was going to get this stuff back and make them take it back to the neighbor that they stole the, you know, the, the items from. They even interviewed the neighbor who whose house was broken into. And she thanked the mother for, you know, disciplining her children for what they had done because like that mother said, the, the homeowner whose house was broken into, she said if the police have caught them coming out of her house, they might have shot and killed them. She said, say she had been home and, you know, they broke in while she was there and she had a weapon. She may have, you know, shot and killed them. 
So in her eyes, this mother did what she also believes was the right thing. I feel the same way. I also feel that when they, the authorities heard the entire story, instead of arresting her, why didn't they offer her some help? When she told them that the father was incarcerated, they could have, you know, got those boys some big brothers, signed them up for programs or pointed her in the direction of some help. Why was the answer to arrest a mother? She wasn't sitting at home on welfare or somewhere in a bar drinking or, or laid up with some man. She was at work. She went home and did what a good mother, I believe, would do. She didn't have underage children left at home by themselves because anyone who has children knows that if you have a 13-year-old, that is the age that the, the law says is okay to babysit. So I have all kinds of mixed feelings about this while i feel sorry for the children that they ended up with bruises and some of those bruises were bleeding had they not been out stealing burglarizing a neighbor's house at 13 12 and 10 their mom wouldn't have whooped their asses so like um someone who was involved in the case said i bet they won't break into anyone else's house and the person that bailed her out watched her story on television and it was a bail bondsman a female bail bondsman whose son had just recently escaped death in a car crash she watched the story and she put up the money that was needed to get out, get her out of jail they even lowered her her bail the judge that presided over her case actually felt that the bond that they gave her which was, I believe, 2,500 was too much. So they lowered it to a thousand something that she could pay. And that bail bondsman put up that thousand dollars for her. This mother has a lot of support. These kids nowadays are out of hand. Better her discipline them in the home than the police do it out in the street. And then she ends up having to buy a casket, you know. So I would like for everyone to leave their comments on this. Tell me what you think about it. Now, again, I do agree that she should not have left any bruising on them and those bruises should not have been bleeding. I received spankings with the same things that she used to whip her kids. She says she started off with a belt and she ended with an extension cord. I've been whipped with both and I'm alive today well-rounded here on YouTube doing videos. So all this stuff where they say these kids are gonna end up scarred for life and it doesn't, um, you know, do anything to deter them. It, it actually makes them worse. I have a video here that talks about when I was 11th grader and what my mother did to me when I was 17. You wanna hear how it cures you? A good old fashioned whipping cures you? Go back and take a look at that video. So with that, I'm just going to say thank you for watching this one. Please leave your comments because I would be curious to know what everyone else thinks. And again, thank you for watching the video. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.